Hey guys, this is Emmanuel, your Emotion Code Practitioner out here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Just excited to share a really quick message for those of you who are for sure in your mind, you have tunnel vision it, that the Emotion Code is a scam. It's it's not real. It's fake. It's a bunch of hoopla, um, you know, new age stuff that, you know, has no science backed up by. I, this, this, this video is for you uh, because I want you to, first of all, um, think of this quote by T. Harv Eker, which is basically the millionaire mind. It says that you can either be right or rich, but you can't be both. Most people that I know that jump to these assumptions about something being not real is they're doing it based on uh, presuppositions or uh, some, something in their experience where they found one thing and then basically put it in a box. They didn't actually examine it thoroughly. For those of you who don't know, uh, my name is Emmanuel Zavias. I'm out here in Las Vegas. I am an emotion code practitioner. If there's anyone that's going to be skeptical about energy healing, it's myself because I grew up with two oncologists and hematologists. I want to ask you, did you have a background where you have two doctors that are very, very methodical, went to UCLA UCLA Medical School, were in the top 5% of their class, went from Peru to a very, very huge success of owning their own practice or working for Kaiser for 20 years? Trust me, the last thing they want to hear is energy healing. But they actually do have respect um, to my practice or my wife's practice, which I work for her. Um, And the reason why is just because um, whether we don't know all the facts yet or the science behind everything, we don't know all the facts and the science behind uh, different things like, you know, like the sun or all, you know, electricity, but we still reap the benefits of it. Uh, Science, in a sense, is only using your five senses to be able to um, to uh, come up with certain examinations for things. But we all know that that what's happening around us goes beyond five senses. If you haven't thought of that, then I'm I'm here to tell you that there is. There's more to just five senses, uh, and there's things that are happening around us that go beyond those. And so uh, one of the things I want to talk about is, um, as as T. Harv Eker once said, you're either rich or you're right, but you can't be both. So uh, most people would rather be right and say, you know what, this is... Um, you know, I'm, you know, let me give you some financial advice, but guess what? They're broke. Or let me, let me give you some health advice, but guess what? They're broke. Or if you're right, you tend to be stagnant with what your thoughts are. Like your philosophies that are stagnant creates the paradigm that you live in. So for me, for example, I didn't really, I didn't take the emotion code and say, this is the best way for healing. I had to examine it. I had to read the book, which I'll get to. And I had to like try it out with people and like call people and be like, wow, distance healing. I mean, quantum, you know, quantum physics and, uh, you know, just, um, it was just kind of really out there, like, you know, non-locality healing, like it just, it was really, really out there where I can work with someone in London and in Singapore and I can lower their pain. I mean, you have to understand that this was really like, I might as well be hanging out with aliens in a different planet. But I went out there and I said, but what if this does work? So it's that mentality. I'm like, what if it does work that I want to invite you to think about? The first thing you want to do, I'm just going to give you uh, f- uh, four quick tips. Number one is, uh, well, number one is stop being right. Like st- start trying to find a way to be wrong. When I actually, um, you know, I used to make fun of all these religions and stuff. And then I noticed that, you know what, these religions are adding value to people's lives. And, um, you know, so I had to be proven wrong so I could see the beauty in things uh, in, in people's faith. Um, when it comes to energy healing, I was totally skeptical about it. But then I, I started a whole career of helping people um, with emotional pain or physical pain. So it's like I had to be wrong so I can be abundant in some area and help other people. And so um, so this year is the year where I try to keep finding myself. Like, you know, my for example, um, a body code practitioner that I work with, he said, you can adjust bones using the body code or make bones happy. And I was like, how do you make bones happy? Like, it's just really out there. I want him to prove me wrong as I see the testimonials coming in day after day as I work with him in our practice with Carson Shields. So that's number one is like find a way to be wrong because if you you find more ways to be wrong, you'll grow. There's actually actually growth patterns in there and you can can become more and add more to your life. If If you are happy, wealthy with relationships and everything in your life and you have that all, then feel free to be right all day. But I think most of us, we have areas in our life that we can improve. I think it's better to be wrong so we can progress. Okay, that's number one. Um, Number two is read the book. Read the book, The Emotion Code by Dr. Bradley Nelson. Again, it's called The Emotion Code by Dr. Bradley Nelson. Uh, Number three is most of the emotion code practitioners that that practice this, they they do this on a part-time basis, full-time basis. They will offer you a free 30-minute, 45-minute, 15-minute, an hour free session 
why not take the session and see for yourself? Come to them with either some type of emotional issue or come to them with some sort of pain in your body. Um, you know, the people that I work with, they have neck pain, shoulder pain. They, they improve 30, 60, sometimes even 90% improvement and within just five to 10 minutes of removing some things called trapped emotions. If you're very unfamiliar with the emotion code, you may want to look up the emotion code uh, and look up coding alternative, which I made a video in 15 minutes what the emotion code is. And then also um, the heart wall, look up heart wall coding alternative and you'll see a video that I make about the heart wall. And so um, that's one thing. Uh, the next thing is, I mean, we have our, our, our practice, my wife's practice has over 166 five-star reviews. I've spoken to many, many business owners and you can't make those type of reviews in less than a year unless people are actually improving. And so again, uh, I read those reviews all the time and it just gets me very emotional because these people were actually changing their lives. Some people have PTSD, depression, anxiety, and they've seen hope in the emotion code. And so uh, again, why don't you read your practitioner's reviews? Look at what they've done. Look at the testimonials. Um, some of the businesses that you trust and confide in right now, you go to them and they don't even have reviews. Like, you know, and we and then you put a hundred percent trust in them, but all of a sudden when you hear something that's brand new, it's different. You have to like question everything about it. So just know your pattern, you know, it's like um, you know, you'll look for uh like no one looks for reviews at McDonald's, but people eat that food all day long. But then they go to like a Italian place and they're like, let's check the reviews. It's like you have to understand that's kind of weird a little bit, you know. It's um so again, uh you might want to question your doubts. And the last thing is um, you know, what I found out is that 10% of people uh, in landmark education, I found out that 10% is what you know you know, like your name, or your social birth date. 10% is what you know you don't know, uh, which is like, you know, maybe quantum physics or maybe brain surgery, right? Things you know you don't know. Then there's 80%. He says, if you want to really complete your life, have a very complete life, you have to jump into the 80%. What you don't know, you don't know. And what I've noticed, uh, friends who are watching, is that the heart, like not knowing about the heart wall will hurt you. Not knowing about trapped emotions, that it can create emotional issues and pain and then even lead to disease and even lead to cancer, it will hurt you. So it's something worth researching. Uh, you know, whether you believe in uh, Jesus Christ or not, him saying, I am the way, the truth, and the life, uh, you might want to question, like he, like C.S. Lewis says, he's not just a, a good teacher. He wasn't made to be a moral teacher. That's not what he, that he's, as he presented himself. He was actually saying he was something more than that. Um, you know, saying the son of God. So he's either a blasphemous liar or he's actually the son of God. See, that's something worth researching because it matters to your life. And so the same way with the emotion code that these issues that you're having either emotionally or physically, it could be a trapped emotion. It could be a heart wall. It could be an imbalance in your body. Isn't your body worth it to look into the book? So I'm not getting any money referring that book to you and the emotion code by Dr. Brian Nelson, but I'm telling you, it's a, it's, the book that changed my life in regards to really understanding uh, why people are dealing with these type of issues. So with that, hopefully those are a couple of thoughts to think of as you're looking to the emotion code. And someone probably sent you here because you're like, the emotion code's a scam. It's like before you jump into that, that conclusion, think about some of the things I just told you right now. And like I said, I say this with all respect, um, you know, for whoever you are, and uh, hopefully this helped you out. But you should look at those things. Like, Look at the idea of like, what has being right gotten you? Number one. Number two, did you read the book yet? Have you looked into the book? Number three, have you acquired a free session from your emotion code practitioner who probably sent you this video? 15, 30, 45, let, let the tongue in his mouth match the one in his shoes. And why don't you just check, do a free session? The next one is check the reviews, check testimonials. There's reviews everywhere from all different walks of life of emotion code practitioners working with people. I mean, us coding alternative, we have over 166 five-star reviews, read some stories, read what people have been experiencing. And lastly, um, what like the 80% is what you don't know. You don't know. What if not knowing about the emotion code has been holding you back? I think it's worth you looking into it. Hopefully you can subscribe to our channel. Uh, we're going to be doing five videos a week. Hopefully this, uh, um, added more knowledge or more insight into looking into the emotion code. And, um, you know, feel free to comment below if you have any thoughts or any questions, we'd love to answer them for you. We're just here to provide information and we just don't want you to miss out on something that has really changed a lot of people's lives. So with that, this is Emmanuel from Las Vegas and uh, I look forward to, uh, who knows, maybe one day working with you or if you meet with another emotion code practitioner, hopefully that person will definitely change your life. I know, I know if they know the emotion code and they've read the book and they've been certified, I know they can change your life, uh, your life. So uh, with that, wish you guys the best. Take care. Bye-bye.